Hello my dear learners welcome back to online learning platform of Sri Baswa Public School I hope you have already watched my recent update in YouTube that is the grammar topic yes so now we are going to start at an another interesting session with the poem from 5th unit yes so today the poem which we are going to read and explain and understand that is trees yes the nature is surrounded the nature having this this is one of the part of nature which we uses in many different ways children this poem trees has been written by shirley burr let's know some aspects in this video which will be very helpful for you to understand in better way this chapter this poem trees this poem is about the simple ways in which trees bring us happiness every day trees provide fruit shade and homes for birds children build tree houses to play in they hang swings from the branches of trees and enjoy swinging on them with their friends the wind blows through trees children hide behind trees while playing hide and seek families enjoy tea parties under shade giving trees trees also are where kites get caught trees provide shade in the summer trees also give us delicious fruit trees provide timber for construction and furniture trees inspire mothers to paint however They make extra work for fathers when they shed their leaves in autumn. So children, I hope you enjoyed the animated part of the chapter, this poem. So, this session is going to be based on introductory part of the poem and poet's information and reading of the poem and while reading, while explaining, I'll dictate some vocabulary, some difficult word meaning as well as the most importantly explanation of the poem. These aspects I am going to explain and cover in today's session. So listen very carefully. Children, the, po the poem Trees has been written by Shirley Burr who was, whose journey was from 1944 to 2011. She was born on October 17, 1944 and she was died on May 17, 2011 at the age of 66 due to cancer disease. And she was the child of Sam and Maggie Burr and she completed, Shirley graduated from Makulski High School in 1962 and attended nursing school in Bismarck. She was a nurse at St. Alexis Hospital for 41 years. And she was an avid baseball fan and loved traveling with her friends. So this is a slight, a little bit information of poet Shirley Burr. Trees, the poem which we are going to explain today that is trees. So listen very carefully. Trees are for birds. Trees are for children. Trees are to make trees houses in. Trees are to swing swings on. Trees are for the wind to blow. Children, this poem is all about many advantages that we receive from trees and they give us shade, they give us fruits, they give, they bear fruits. So this only we are going to see through in this poem explanation. Here trees are, so the poet here emphasizing and stressing on the all advantages that each and every one of us receive from trees. In this poem, we are going to discuss about those advantages. According to the poet, let move on towards the first stanza which we completed now. Trees are available for everyone who lives on earth. They are for birds to take shelter and food. They are for children to play around them. They are for insects or birds to make nest in it and to take shelter from it. And also they are for 
they are for swing on swing they are for children to play around them they are for uh, they are for everyone who lives on the earth and also so this is how the poet in this they are also for wind to blow through it and this is how in the first stanza the poet is stressing and emphasizing on advantages of trees so in the second lines in the second stanzas trees are to hide behind in hide and seek this is one of the game trees are to have tea parties under trees are for kites to get caught in trees are to make cool shade in summer trees are to make no shade in winter children here trees are helping wind to as we completed that one uh, wind to blow through it and trees are to play hide and seek whenever we play this game we use a tree to hide behind it do you agree with it yes and we love playing with the trees and also they are used to have tea parties tea parties many times children sit and eat and enjoy the time sitting under the shade of trees and whenever we play kites then it's get it's get caught in trees many times and also whenever there will be hot the line has been mentioned here trees are to make cool shade in summer let's see how it is whenever there will be hot then you can sit under tree and find some cool shade in them and also there is one more line there are to they are trees are to make on no shade in winter trees are to make no shade in the winter why children why do you think poet is saying this line let's see because we don't need shade in the winter season we like to enjoy the sun rays in the winters so the poet has used this line that trees are um, trees are to make no shade in winter let's see the last lines trees are for apples to grow on and pears trees are to chop down and call timber trees make mothers say what a lovely picture to paint trees make fathers to say what a lot of leaves to rake this fall children the under, uh, underline this word timber it means wooden piece wooden piece and here rake means plenty rake means plenty so children here in this in these lines what poet is trying to say that trees bear fruits vegetables which we use in every day's life every day which we use and trees are to chop down trees are to chop down and uh, call it as timber means wooden piece and now why the poet is saying so is that whenever we cut the tree it uh, and whatever turn to it we call it as timber whenever we cutting the tree and what becomes after cutting the tree what we get after cutting the tree that part of the tree will be considered as timber or wooden piece and it is very useful we can make many things with it like for example furnitures so it is a very very important now what happens here like when the mother look at the tree she admires it she phrases it and uh, she, she admires it as beautiful picture to paint or to draw and when father sees the same uh, thing then this last line uh, what a lot of leaves to rake this fall this line last line referring to the season of atman yes when the when there is lot of shedding of leaves what happens here the ground becomes full of all the dry leaves so father is concerned about getting all the leaves together and picking them up so this is the complete uh, information of the poem and this chap this poem is all about the advantages that we receive from the trees and they gives us lot of things and we are using it in a various ways and it is all about the poet in this poem is stressing and emphasizing on the advantages which we receives from trees i hope you all have understood the explanation of this poem if you have any doubts you can con call me or else you can send me a message i'll clear your doubts as soon as possible once again thank you so much for watching this video